Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a few months since I last posted a video. I was busy filming new interesting locations and there are some other real life stuff that I needed to handle. I don't normally do reaction videos or reading articles, but bear with me. This article really annoyed me. For context, there is this game called Lord of the Rings Online. It's been around since 2007 and me and a friend, as you can see in the gameplay here, we have two characters currently going and we're doing all the deeds in all the lands of Middle-earth. It has its flaws, but it is a charming, loved game by the whole Lord of the Rings community. Amazon wanted to do its own Lord of the Rings MMO, but after the disaster that was Rings of Power and various other reasons, that game got canned. Apparently not, as they decided to revive it. Let's go through this article. Amazon boss wants fans to move on from the Lord of the Rings online. Ugh, God, no, that's not gonna happen. The most likely scenario is for people just to move over because the other one is an old game. Uh, I'll get to that in a moment. So, the Lord of the Rings is getting a new MMO, but as many fans know, it already had one. In fact, it's had one since 2007, and it's still going. Amazon, however, sounds a lot less impressed by this feat and believes that players of this 16-year-old MMO will ditch it in favor of something new. Speaking in an interview, Amazon Games VP Christoph Hartmann distanced the new Lord of the Rings MMO from the Lord of the Rings Online, saying that he feels that fans will move on and play its own game instead. What he's actually trying to say is, hey, we like the smell of money, we did a very good job with Rings of Power, come play our game and give us your hard-earned cash, please. He even went as far as to imply that the leap from the Lord of the Rings Online to Amazon's MMO will be like going from black and white movies to color, further suggesting that the new game will make the previous one obsolete. That is just completely tone deaf and wrong, he clearly doesn't understand the Lord of the Rings Online community. This comes from an interview with GameIndustry.biz, as spotted by Eurogamer, in which Hartman was asked whether he fears the Lord of the Rings Online will get in the way of Amazon's new MMO. Not at all, says Hartman. Looking just at the technology where we are at now, and where we will be in a couple of years, it's just worlds apart. Tch, you could say, a new world. Speaking of which, let's address the elephant in the room. Let's have a look of the number of players there are currently in MMOs. Let's see, MMO, population, top 2023. Let's just take this one, for instance. It's not the best, but it will give us a rough idea. First place, it's, oh, World of Warcraft. When was World of Warcraft released? World of Warcraft, November 23rd, 2004. Gee, that's a very old game, that it's even older than Lord of the Rings Online, and it's still being played by how many? At least 2,300,000 active players. The second game on the list, Old School RuneScape. 1.8 million, when was Old School RuneScape released, for instance? 2013, but when was RuneScape released first time? Because Old School RuneScape is like the old RuneScape. January 4, 2001. It's even older than World of Warcraft, and there's 1.8 million active players. <laughs> oh boy. Let's search on this list to see where Amazon's current MMO, New World, is at. Path of X, Destiny. Destiny 2 is not an MMO. Lost Ark, Star Citizen. That's impressive. RuneScape, the original. 500,000 active players, apparently. Guild Wars 2, a very popular MMO, one that you just buy once, 341,000. Elder Scrolls Online, 209,000. Black Desert Online, 234,000. Yeah, like I said, this list is not perfect, but it'll do for what I want to make it. New World, Amazon's MMO, 21st place, 141,985. This just shows how New World, the game with the latest graphics and latest advancement in gameplay, is a modern piece of tech which was broken beyond belief at launch, but that's a completely separate story that many other YouTubers covered it, just doesn't hold the candle to a game from 2004. And then Hartman comes along and says it's like going from black and white movies to color. Well, what about RuneScape, old school RuneScape, which is basically the same game that started from 2001. That was Charlie Chaplin doing mute films, and it's still much more popular than the latest 
Amazon release New World. Duh, duh, this is just... Duh. Going along the article, while he said that he has a lot of respect for developer Standing Stone, who is still releasing expansions after all this time, yeah, recently they released the Return to Karndoom, which was a pretty decent expansion, he still described this, the player base as not huge, but very dedicated. Yes, we are dedicated to this game, because it is a good game. It's a little exaggeration if I say it's going to be like black and white movies to color, but that's the approach I want to take. It's a completely different world. He went on to say that he believes many players will opt for the fancier next-gen MMO instead. Like they decided to go to New World instead of playing Roblox? Or Guild Wars 2? Or World of Warcraft Classic? Games that were so old and so dear to our hearts, because these are the games we grew up with? Maybe, maybe he has a point. Maybe there is a market for new Lord of the Rings fans that want to play a new MMO. The most likely scenario is for people just to move over, because the other one is an old game, he said. It's not a bad game, but the industry moves on at some point. They didn't move on from World of Warcraft. A lot of players didn't move on from old school RuneScape, or for Final Fantasy A Realm Reborn, or for Path of Exile. They did kind of move on from New World. But to come along and say the most likely scenario is for people just to move over because the other one is an old game, without actually showing us anything about the MMO you are creating now, that's just disrespectful. While not in response to Hardman's comments, Standing Stone, the current developer of Lord of the Rings Online, has commented on the news over on the forums. And despite some fears, it's clear that the devs don't intend to go anywhere just yet. Like you, we and our partners at Middle Earth Enterprises are huge fans of Lord of the Rings Online, says the devs. It is beloved, it is 16, it is evergreen. Lotro is like the long-lived Ents, Elves and Dwarves, and we, mere mortals, are the stewards of Lord of the Rings Online and its community. Standing Stone has every intention of growing and supporting this community, the road goes ever on. And I sincerely hope they continue working on this game as you can literally walk as a chicken from the Shire to Mordor. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. It's a rather short and rather completely different topic. I am curious to see what Amazon is going to do with their new MMO and how bad it's going to go. I mean, take a look at Lord of the Rings Golem. That's a not really a good game, is it? Or Rings of Power. That wasn't a good show. Man, the Lord of the Rings license is really taking a beating these days, isn't it? Thank you for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever, just to make the algorithm a bit more happier. What do you think about Amazon reviving this project? This interview set my expectations to let's see how low my voice can go. I'll be back soon enough to my City and Places videos, and I'll also try to cover every single piece of news I get out of this MMO. Until next time.